Hey guys, this is SD. I got the stator mounted on a uh, little mini wind generator. You see the spacing that I got it set up for. I still got a little cosmetic work on the back side of the stator. And I've got the uh, coil set up. I'm running little jumper cables. I'm going to test each of the uh, coil sets. This is like uh, coil number one. And I went ahead and put the wind generator blades on here. Got a real light breeze blowing. And we're going to just see what kind of uh, output we're getting from these coils. Now this will be uh, uh, the phase one set of coils. But over here you can see on the little uh, Harbor Freight multimeter there what we're getting. It's already 2.5. Jump up to three, three volts, 3.6, 3.8, four volts. That's that's only one one set of coils. I combine the other two, and you're gonna get like almost twice that amount. You can see how fast the blades are actually spinning. Not very fast at all, making that much power. So we'll go ahead and switch it up to the next set and try them out. See how this next set of coils do it. I owned them out and everything on got equally on each set of coils. Uh, kind of spin that one up a little bit. It's jumping up there pretty good too. Got a little bit of wind gust right there. Three point two. not spinning very fast at all. So when that thing gets up in the uh, air there and gets mounted on the pole, it should be putting out some pretty decent power, I think. I'm going to go ahead a little bit here in a bit and try to wire up uh, the setup. Now this is uh, its AC output. I don't have it going through a rectifier. So it's actually spinning up pretty good. You can see the spacing in between the uh, stator and the magnet rotors and those are 49 pound pole uh, magnets or one inch diameter by half inch thick and I've got about a uh, eighth inch to maybe a sixteenth inch gap between the magnets and the stator but I'm pretty happy with the results so far I had to take the uh, upper stator uh, protector that little arch piece that uh, Belgrade mounted on there this puts out good then I'll make another set just like this and send it to my buddy over there so he can test it on one of his wind generators alrighty back up a little bit that's how fast it's turning Alright guys, let me go ahead and finish wiring it up and we'll see what we can come up with here. Hey guys, this is ST. Uh, we've got about a 5 to 6 mile an hour wind. I went ahead and hooked up a uh, homemade 3 phase bridge rectifier. And uh, we're going to watch the rotation here and see what kind of output we're getting right now. It's uh, 8 point, or actually 10 volts. And that little bit of rotation. Right now, again, this is no load. It just jumped up. I got 29 uh, volts there. Not too bad. I'll try to catch this. And, uh, speed. There's 35 volts right there. What I'm going to try to do is position this uh, in front and see if we can uh, see this at the same time without uh, breaking anything here. That way you can kind of see the rotation of the uh, blades at the same time. Let's see if I can stop this and get around here. Sorry about all the trash around here, but it's clean up time here pretty soon. Okay. Try to focus in on the uh, output. We're getting 
4.75 volts right now. 6 volts. I'm actually blocking some of the wind from the blade too. 9.6, 10 volts there. 12. And now the wind's kind of died off. Uh, this thing is pretty surprising for the uh, output that I've seen uh, versus the wind hitting it again, but it's still under no load. I'll rig up some batteries later on if we get another day of some wind and uh, hook up a 12 volt battery and then hook up some in uh, 24 volt mode and see how it does. But I just wanted to catch some uh, no load voltages here. See if I can string this away from the box a little bit. That way we're not looking at the blades there. When I do all this, that's when the wind's going to stop. And just that little bit of rotation there, and we're getting three three volts down to two. Let's see what she's going to do here. I got to redo and repair some of the molds and then I'm building an exact copy of this and shipping it off to my buddy Belgrade and see what he thinks of this thing. It's uh, something else. There's 22 volts, 24, 26, 27, 28, 30, 40, 45, 46. Holy smokes. I went in, inside and looked at the uh, weather recorder. Uh, the fastest breeze we've got was in a 9 mile an hour. And this is sitting on the ground, guys. This wind's coming from right beside the house here, coming straight down through here. Let me back off a little bit without killing myself here. It's not spinning very fast at all. And we're at, we're over 10 volts there. Too. We'll wait and see if we can catch one more good ghost. See if we can get above that uh, highest input we got there. We're sitting at uh, 12 volts, and that's the rotation speed right there. So, this definitely wouldn't have any problem charging up some uh, 12 volt batteries. I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough for uh, 24 volt. Come on, Wayne. All right, we'll stop it until the next gust of wind, and I'll start this back up again. Oh, here comes a little bit. There it goes. And that's a seven blade Missouri Raptor blade set up on there. Let's see if we catch one more gust here. Goes. Huh. Well, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video so you guys can see the output. Again, this thing is sitting on the ground here. We're actually on the bench. It's about maybe four foot up in the air. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you a little later on.